Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering whole number division with decimal answers or decimal remainders. And we're going to be working with two digit divisors. So when we're looking for decimal answers or decimal remainders, we need to use a decimal point and placeholder zeros. You'll see exactly what I mean by that as we go through our two examples. So let's jump into number one, where we have 102 divided by 12. And the first thing we want to do is set up the problem. So 102 divided by 12. Now we're going to go through the same division process as any other problem. So we'll start with divide. So one divided by 12. Can we pull whole groups of 12 out of one? No, so we need to move over to the 10, use the one and the zero. Can we do 10 divided by 12? How many whole groups of 12 out of 10? Well, we can't do that either, so we need to use the two. So 102, how many whole groups of 12 out of 102? Well, 12 times eight is 96. That is as close as we're going to get. So eight whole groups of 12. So we will put the eight above the 102. Eight times 12 is 96. So we need to subtract. So 102 minus 96 is six. Eight remainder six is the answer to this problem, but we want this in decimal form. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a decimal point. Let's place it after the 102, after the whole number. Once we have it placed there, we need to bring it straight up into our answer. We're going to use a placeholder zero after that decimal. So let's put a zero after the decimal. Now the purpose of that zero, it gives us something to bring down and continue through our division process. Now that zero does not change the value of our problem because we added it to the right of the decimal. So that's an equivalent uh, number there. 102 is the same value as 102.0, okay? So let's bring that zero down and continue through our process. So we have 60 divided by 12. How many whole groups of 12 out of 60? Well, five because five times 12 hits 60 exactly. So we'll put a five up here. Let's extend. Five times 12 is 60. Subtract and we get a nice clean cut zero. That means we're done. When we get to a zero, we are at the end of the problem and we have our final answer. So the answer is eight and five tenths. Now we only had to go over to the tenths place as far as placeholder zeros. Other problems, you might have to go further. You go again until you get that clean cut zero. That's how you know you are done. So let's move on to number two where we will have to go past the tenths place as far as placeholder zeros and our answer goes. So we have 51 divided by 24 and we'll start by setting that up. So 51 divided by 24. And we have the divide step first. So five divided by 24. How many whole groups of 24 out of five? We can't do that, so we need to use the 51. How many whole groups of 24 out of 51? Two, because that gets us to 48. So two times 24 is 48. Subtract, and we get three. So two remainder three would be correct, but again, we want this in decimal form. So let's place our decimal and bring that straight up into our answer. And we're going to use a placeholder zero that we can bring down in order to continue through our process. So bring that zero down and we end up with 30 divided by 24. So how many whole groups of 24 out of 30? One. So we have one times 24 is 24. Subtract, we get six. So again, we need to go until we get a clean cut zero. So let's use another placeholder zero that we can bring down and continue. So bring that zero down and we have 60 divided by 24. Well, two groups of 24 gives us 48. Three groups of 24 is 72. So it's only going to be two. 
2 times 24 is 48. Subtract, and we get 12. We'll need another placeholder zero to bring down. Remember, we're going until we get a zero. So bring that down, and we end up with 120. So how many whole groups of 24 do we think we can pull out of 120? So let's try five and see how close we get. Because I know that 20 times five is 100, and 24 rounds to 20 as far as rounding to the tens place. So let's try that out and see how close we get. So I'll come over to the side, 24 times five. Well, five times four is 20. Five times two is 10, plus two is 12. So that hits 120 exactly. So five whole groups of 24 out of 120. So now we multiply five times 24, 120. And I'm running out of room, but I think we can squeeze it in. We get that clean cut zero that we're looking for. So the answer is two and 125 thousandths. So in that problem, we had to go to the thousandths place. There you have it. There's whole number division with decimal answers. Remember, use a decimal point and placeholder zeros until you get that clean cut zero. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.